Hi, welcome to DJ Kit TV. My name is Chris Calcutt from Focusrite Innovation, and we're going to take a good look at the Launchpad Mini grid based controller. So, the Launchpad Mini is made up of 64 uh, controlling grid control buttons, and also we have a further 16 function buttons around the outside. The key difference between Launchpad Mini and the original Launchpad, which we have here, is essentially the size. In terms of functionality, we get the same level of functionality from Launchpad Mini as we do from the big one. So, you'll notice on the Launchpad Mini we just have numbers and letters running across on the function uh, controls here. In the box you'll also get some overlay stickers, uh, which you can use with either Ableton Live software or also we can uh, use FL Studio alongside Launchpad Mini and again in the box there you've got some stickers, overlay stickers for FL Studio. So, a very quick run through of how Launchpad Mini works. We've got it plugged directly into an Ableton Live set here and these yellow lights that are on at the moment are representing the different clips that we have in our Ableton Live set. So in this particular page here, which is our session page, I have full access to all of the clips and can trigger and control those clips accordingly. If I need to access different clips, I can move up and down using my up and down controls here. And again, these are labelled on the overlay stickers, um, but we can access any clip that we might have available in Ableton. If I move over to this mode, this takes me to my mixer mode. And in the mixer mode, I have access to things like record enable, which is the bottom row here. I also have solo, which will allow me to uh, uh, just isolate a particular track in my production. I can turn the channels on and off here on this row. And I can also stop any clips that might be playing by using this row. Now, if I use these green buttons here, this will now take me through to various different pages. So here, for example, we have a volume mixer. So if we have a look at channel one on the screen, we can see that by using these particular buttons on the launch pad, we're easily able to control our volume. We can also do the same if I move down here to control our pan. So we can send signals out left and right very easily just using the controls on this particular page. The next page here allows me to control my send effects. So I have access to two send effects, send A and send B. So for example, if I just trigger a clip, very straightforward kick drum clip, go to this particular channel and just send it out through the delay. If I go down to this one, I can then add some reverb to it. So we get some nice control over our different clips. So alongside this now, let's have a look at our user one mode. And in user one mode, I'm able to actually control things such as drum racks within Ableton. So here we go into user one mode. I'm gonna very quickly turn on my monitor. For my MIDI monitor, I can now trigger the clips as I want. So if I enter into this page again, we'll create an empty clip. So I could take that for two bars. That's a nice empty clip for us now. Go back to user one mode, and here I've MIDI mapped an overdub button so I can record into that empty clip I've just created. So now we should be able to start to play along. Maybe add some hi-hat to it. Oh, a clap. And now we'll add some hi-hat. So we can see it's really easy to actually start to build up our own arrangements and our own uh, unique content within Ableton using the user one mode. Now finally we'll go to user two mode and that's this page here and what I'm going to do is I'm going to very quickly MIDI map some controls to a filter that I've got set up on that drum track. So if I go to my filter effect in Ableton and then go into MIDI learn mode which is command and M on a Mac or control and M on a PC, I'm going to click the, um, uh, the cutoff point for the filter, I'm going to hold this button and then this button and I've now learnt the controls across the top row on user 2 mode. <laughs> 
So we can see, using the uh, Launchpad Mini, we've got a whole variety of different controls over the software, and we can uh, really take physical control over our Ableton Live sets. If you'd like any more information about the Launchpad Mini or any of the Novation uh, controllers available, go to www.djkit.com where you'll be able to find some further information. Thanks very much for watching.